Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna look at how you can use the latest edition of the Salt E747, and then specifically the electronic checklist, because I would say that's a really cool feature. So what we first need to do, of course, is make sure that we get some power, right? So we go to the top of the aircraft, and at the top of the aircraft, we see the cover here, and we see some nice, say, hidden things, which are artillery, sometimes a little bit hard to see, but we can switch on the, uh, the power using the external power button. And then uh, I would say you can also switch on the external power too, if you want. And then I would say the aircraft uh, starts to come alive. Now, the coolest thing about, I would say, which we're gonna look at can be found here, right? So you can go to the checklist display. That will change the display, which is, I would say in the center here uh, into, I would say, ah, uh, well, a checklist. The thing which you need to be aware of is that there's a non-normal menu and a, a normal menu. The normal menu is simply the normal flight uh, items, or three uh, normal checks which you need to perform. And you can control them using this button, right? So that's, I would say, you can use this button to, would say, scroll to the menus, but also to set the check marks. For example, if you test the uh, oxygen, you can set it. If you tested the flight instruments, the heading and the altimeter, right, you can set it. Uh, some of the items, like the parking brake and the fuel control switch, they're automatically validated. If you want to override an item, you can uh, click where you can select the override item by scrolling to this item and then pressing the select. Or you can override the complete checklist by uh, going to this option and then say override here. Uh, the last item is of course a reset and the reset will perform a reset of the checklist but it will only reset those items which you just marked as completed right so can I say so well let's say okay hey i'm not gonna test uh this option right so then i'm gonna say okay hey item override and then it will say okay hey fine for me uh checklist completed and then you can go continue uh, once you've done that you can press select again which will bring you to the next I would say step right which is before the start so you can select this option uh, make sure that the passenger signs is uh, checked you can set these options i'm not gonna set these options right so i'm simply gonna show you how it works and this is how you can i would say easily go to the uh options uh also the beacons right uh the only thing which you need to be aware of that it doesn't indicate where those controllers or where those displays are located right so that's something you need to figure out yourself however there's always a trick of course that's to use the uh, check building checklist although this one is far more limited compared to the checklist which is part of the salty 747 so let's continue with the checklist so we're gonna say okay hey we did this we did this and then we hit the auto brake because that's before taxiing this one doesn't have a check mark so you can't mark it as complete however what you can do is you can put this nice item in the correct state which is the rto once we've done that you can see that the auto brake is now set to check mark right so that's good nothing uh needs to be done anymore and what i do expect that's in the future that they will uh, actually check the real buttons behind it uh, so that it would say uh, that you don't need or that you can't check them here but that it only checks them okay if you configure them correctly so we're gonna continue with our fun uh, then we need to scroll down of course uh, flight controls checked and ground equipment clear and then we can go to the next tab Again, you can see that this one's already automated. So it has figured out that the flaps are set correctly. So if I would go to the uh, perf menu, right? Which I would say probably you know. So we're gonna go to the uh, perf menu and then we're gonna define an altitude, let's say 250. Let's uh, cost an X of 25. Reserves. Well, gonna set the reserves to 10 this is the reserves that we need to have but you can see that it sometimes doesn't accept it because i'm simply making something about it uh, 25 then the thrust limiter you can see that the flaps are selected for 20 percent and this is kind of weird it looks like that it, there is no real check because you would expect that the uh 
system will check if the flaps are set 20 because it's an automatic check but that's not the case right so i do expect that there's some say tweaking going on uh, as we speak so once we've done that right we can click on normal again and then you can but they continue the rest of the items, right? Uh, so I'm going to say, okay, hey, checklist override because we don't want to check this item. And then we can go to the normal again. Then you've got the descent and that's really cool, right? So now if you want to go back to another menu, you can simply go to the normal menu on the top and by pressing uh, select, you can say, go all to them right so you can simply go to all the items so let's say that we just landed right and we're gonna go to secure then you see hey we need to do these two items you can see that the irs is already off and that's how you can navigate to the menus if you don't want to i would say or if you want to go to a specific menu use the buttons on the top if you want to reset everything well then simply press the reset button uh, although that one doesn't look like to work in most cases uh, what you however can do is reset the checklist here on the bottom then you've got the uh, non-normal menu and the non-normal menu there's no implementation yet as i figured out uh, maybe they will implement it in the future let's say non-normal menu what would you expect there well maybe something like uh, okay hey uh, the uh, there's i would say a landing or an emergency landing I would expect those items to be there so maybe that will be the, the uh, i would say available in the future uh, the good thing is that the co-pilot can also control the options right you can see the same button here so that's how you can manage the checklist which you uh initially need to enable here right so if i zoom out again to show you you can enable the checklist here and once you've done that you can manage this nice display with the buttons over here so here ends this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.